hello hello so and you know i hope you're having a very wonderful night this is arthur speaking um to um issue with the person that i meant to guide in this lifetime um for his earth body so um so i do want to to say a few things um for you um let's just have a drink of water real quick the girl's been drinking all night <laughs> but that's because she's just having fun Um, but anyways, yeah, it is a day off tomorrow, so praise the Lord, Jesus Christ. Very wonderful. So, Yeshua, um, I wanted to give you a quick reading. I guess, as I said, this is Arthur coming through. So, son, I feel like you already know this already. But yes, um, there is conflict along your way, okay, with making this decision that you want to make, okay? So, I'm going to pull some angel cards for you, okay? So I know that you already know. So um understand son, you've passed a lot of my tests. I mean obviously I mean they're not even really tests because you're God himself. And so when you're God himself, you know how to really go amongst the challenges. Like, you know, you know how to be um effortlessly. What I'm actually curious about is I wonder if there was a past life issue with your mother so let me find out here um okay right so what it was is that your mother she has some kind of toxic cycle with her son um she has a, a toxic cycle with her with you with her life yes so she y your mother it, we're, we're pulling from the kipper okay this is what we used all the time in um, ancient britain uh, i call it ancient for fuck's sake because it was such a long time with the picky blinders right um it was such a long time ago um so i'm just trying to pick up some energy um let's get some past life cards for um for this reading so there was something that happened in the past life with your mother that just didn't get resolved. So your mother's just holding on to some things. Okay, father. Okay. So this is what the mother feels. So like in a in a way your mother She's not spiritually connected to you. I mean, not to you. She's not spiritually connected in this lifetime. Um, she may think she is, like she'll show you it, but she's not. And you know that for sure. You're very in tune. And so your mother, she may not understand the connection between you two. This is what happens with um, the James family in this lifetime. Is that um, the one with Loretta... Loretta, okay, um, which is um, Laveau's sister in this lifetime. She has a very strong spiritual bond with Hank in this lifetime. And so um, Hank has been trying to explain that to the mother and father, and they're unable to understand it because what it is is that the connection is a really toxic connection that Hank, so Hank's parents are very, they have a very toxic strain in the system. And so, um, you have to understand that back in the days, it was just marry out of either convenience, and they're still doing that. It's either marry either out of convenience, or marry because, you know, I mean, it, it's just the way it is, right? Like, I marry because you know you're lonely, or whatever the business it is. And so understand that that's just the nature of how life worked back then. So, you know, people just married for very stupid reasons. And so that's why in this lifetime, so many people, they're still trying to heal from other people because and that's what um that's what the, the the james sister is doing is she's marrying people for money she's not marrying them because she loves them and so understand that uh, so what i'm trying to do too is i know that you understand already but i just i feel like you might question it a little bit okay so i'm just trying to give you a little bit of just pointers okay is what i'm trying to put so understand that your mother she will not understand the relationship that you are in okay because also another thing too she is still stuck in cultural bindings and what that means is like she's probably stuck in like 
oh well like for instance let's say you marry into a spanish family and you are african for instance right well that doesn't feel culturally appropriate for her okay and so um understand that that's just a past life issue okay because um you know how we all believed back in the days is we had to keep our line pure okay so um hispanics marry hispanics americans are marry are marry americans but the thing is is that our soul roams a lot in this lifetime and so you you tend to get a lot of different things and you knew you're always into different women you just um you know into a different woman but you just um had to heal and to ascend and quit from your parents programs so yeah um your mother she is she will not understand this connection she will not understand this connection um and so this is what i'll do is um so yes with your family what will come I'll tell you what will come with these family. Um, I think one of them, there are people that really, I think they're in love with your family. Okay, you wait, what's going on? Okay, so rem remember when I said that, was it me or somebody else? Um, oh, yes, like, you have to understand, Yeshua, that people want what you want because you are God. And God has always the best, and He always has the highest of things. Oh my God, Queen of Cups. So I want to let's talk about this Queen of Cups. Like, what is the situation here at hand with this family? Like, what is this? Okay, so it's like it's imbalance. Um, right right because she's the highest okay so that's what i'm saying is that's exactly what i'm saying so so what it is is that um you are with a woman that's very successful and it makes them feel a little powerless like a little bit like oh but it will be balanced it's just they need to take time to be away because what it is is that I, you have people in your family that are I think it's like, is it in love in a past life? Some kind of issue. And so like, people would just... <laughs> so they're not in love with you. <laughs> they're in love with your wife. It doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man, they're in love with you. And so that's a problem to Yeshua, is that um, you get this problem in your lifetime where you get... Um, your family falls in love um, with Mary in every lifetime. And so that's why you have to keep away from them for a while until they finish healing because um, they get a sort of obsession over your wife. And so what you have to do is <laughs> you have to give them, keep them away. Don't, don't let them meet, introduce them now. You need to give it a little time for them to settle in because, um, you know, I mean, it's like, I don't know. What's a good example? I don't know. It's I don't know. Let's say that Taylor Swift marries a uh, um one of your cousins. Okay. Well, they gotta let that sit in. Okay. You know, um, when you marry somebody that's famous or that just has a certain title, like on TikTok or on social media, like they're just going to get naturally really horny. <laughs> you know, like all these other things. And so it's best that you know you let it subside. Another thing too is um, make sure you clean up your friends list or whatever it is. Um, or also just don't even tell people about your business. Continue to keep that private. But um, I do trust that you know you're fine on the rest of your journey. But yes, just what I wanted you to understand, Nisha, is that um, your mother may not like what you're doing. Okay, she will not agree with what you are doing. But you do know that you do what you have to do to be with your wife and to come along on your next journey. So I want you to say is, you know, good job. Um, and you did, you're doing a great job. Um, it's just, um, so, so what are some other things that I need to point out before I close off this reading? Um, just pack your bags. Okay. Um, you will be ready for Mary by tomorrow for sure. Okay, so yes, understand that the Lord, you're right. He does deliver things in the right time. And so what I want you to also do is, yes, your contacts with your family members, 
don't answer to them don't answer to them like i said you know what to do brother you know what to do and then when you land here um you will figure out the rest on your own um you know Herman to james will definitely really love you i'll love you that's me i am Herman to james see i thought that i'd tell you that just right away that i am your spirit guide and i'm your best friend in a past life but know that i love you very much brother and um I am so proud of you and I feel your presence coming here and I'm sorry I'm I'm still healing a lot um but I'm almost done on my journey um father and you know I'm willing I, I'm, I'm excited to meet you I'm excited to do so um I love you very much and good night